Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna do another update of my balcony container garden. Uh, we are in the middle of a great heat wave here in zone seven. So it's been 90 degrees for about the past uh, four or five days and it's gonna continue to be 90 for another um, at least three or four days as well. So I've already watered. It's about 9 a.m. in the morning. Everything's been watered and the sun hasn't touched it too much. So everything's looking pretty good. But thanks for tuning in and enjoy the update. Let's get at it. All right, I'm gonna start on this side today. Usually I feel like I start on the other side of the balcony. Like I said, it's about 9 a.m. So the sun kind of catches this side of the garden first and then it as it moves kind of over the roof of the building it sort of disappears and nothing on the balcony has the sun and then right around maybe 10 10 30 11 a.m then it starts on the other side of the balcony but anyway these are the sweet williams i cut down the um plants that had bloomed so now i'm just kind of letting it chill i saved the seeds from those that had bloomed so not much going on in there right now then these are the free seeds that i got everything's doing very well here we have some black eyed seasons blooming now um, i looked up these i forget what it's called but um, it started out with just these sort of fern looking stalks and then these beautiful yellow flowers came so they're really good some of these like these already bloomed and have gone on the glory but anyway beautiful then my marigolds dollar store seeds doing well i stuck a zinnia in there it's not really growing but it's still alive <laughs> so i'm kind of glad because I didn't realize how big zinnias get, so that would definitely take over. And I've let the marigolds go to seed, so I've been collecting the seeds. And some of the seeds have fallen down, so this one is starting to grow now. And you can see, like right back there, there's a seed as well. I'm just going to leave it, see what happens. But they are looking great as well, and I like the way they just keep coming back. So I should have marigolds for quite a while. Then these are my dollar store petunia seed <laughs> flowers and they're doing, still doing very well as well. I've been um, dead having a lot of these because my mother told me that it makes them bloom even more so I went through and did that this morning. And then I'm also letting these go to seed so this is a seed pot here. I'm gonna try, there's a bee, <laughs> I'm gonna try to um, save the seeds and as I save them, organize them by color. So maybe next year I can kind of strategize a little color package here, but they're doing really well. I love these like, little pink and white mixed ones, but the purple's gorgeous. So it's like there's a darker pink and a lighter kind of pink lilac as well. They're doing great. Then next over here, I have my San Marzano. I'm gonna back up so you can see it. It's doing very well. I also stuck some carrots down in there. They seem to be doing okay. Those are ones I thinned from another plant, tomato plant pot. Got some blossom. Oh, my first, oh, I didn't even know that was there. I have my first San Marzano. Yay! <laughs> so, so there's more blossoms. Oh, that's so exciting. That's the first one. I didn't even notice that when I watered this morning. So, lots of blossoms. I've been going through and pruning, taking out any suckers, and it's doing well. Uh, one thing I'm a little bit regretful of, I did not put a tomato cage over it before it got too big. So it's developed a little, a slight, lean there but I'll figure something out if it gets worse then next here I'm going to slide this over next here 
next here we have these are the sort of the leftovers that um, I have not uh, potted yet. This is a green pepper. That's a, um, the Copenhagen cabbage that was not doing well. I think I was over watering it. So it looked like it was on its last. So I just stopped watering it for at least a week now. And it seems to be coming back. It has a little bit of a there. And I pulled off like other uh, or leaves that have really died out so I think it may be salvageable then these are still two San Marjanos that I just haven't potted into big pots um, I'm gonna try to give them away I know it's kind of late in the season but maybe someone will take them they're doing so well I don't want to just get rid of them throw them out then here we have a sunflower that I haven't up-potted. I'm actually gonna up-pot this today and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna let it grow a little bigger and then I'm gonna give it to one of my friends who loves sunflowers so um, her and her daughters can kind of take care of it and watch it grow but I am gonna let it grow a little bit more and put it in probably a um, small grow bag. Then this is a le another leftover green pepper. I don't know what I'll do with that. And sorry, the garbage truck is coming to pick up the garbage if you hear that beeping. And they like to back up all the way across the whole parking lot. So enjoy the sound. So now into the Keter or Keter raised bed. We have the zinnias, which have taken over. I definitely regret planting the zinnia, planting the zinnia in this pot. planting the zinnia in the raised bed. I had never grown zinnia before, so I didn't know how they would grow, and it clearly wasn't the best idea, but they're here, so I'm gonna deal with it, but they are absolutely beautiful. And some of them uh, died out on the middle. Bye-bye. I'm going to um, definitely collect the seeds for these here's um there's another one here it's kind of hard to tell because it's like a jumble and then here's the white zinnia which i was not expecting it's like really clean and white and then sort of behind <laughs> in between two zinnia there um Homestead determined tomatoes. It's really hard to see them. Here we go. My, these are the homesteads which are determined. They are like putting out tomatoes like crazy. I have it. And next we have my Copenhagen cabbage. Doing well. I had a problem with the cabbage burner, so I um, used some neem oil, did a little mixture of neem oil, dish detergent, and water, and that seemed to take care of it. So, got a little head in there, but you can see that cabbage burner was having a little party. Behind it, there's another green pepper. And here are the other two green pepper. <laughs> this is one I haven't planted yet. I was thinking about maybe sticking it in this spot, but I don't know, it's kind of yellow. But they are not really growing. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's the pot, the soil. They're not really growing. This one has, I think that's the start of a little blossom. But I tried to grow green peppers like two or three times and never really had any luck, so. I have to figure out what I'm doing now. There's a mint I just put in there. I just stuck it in there. I'm hoping it will flower and attract bees, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it because I know mint is very, very invasive. So I don't want a whole planter of mint. But that's um, this is where I planted the echinacea and the cauliflower. 
I think they're not getting that much sun, so they're not really growing too much. Like a little teeny tiny one there. Next, we have my Yukon Gold potatoes in the grow bag that I started from like the old Yukon Gold potatoes that I have. There, it's growing. There's like new like branches coming up. So hopefully there's some potatoes down there. I know a lot of the leaves have been dying off like this. So I'm um, like just kind of going through every so often and every couple days or and oops <laughs> you ain't see that <laughs> pulling those off but i don't it hasn't been i think it's about probably about 45 days now since i planted them maybe close to 60 so i don't think they're dying from like that end stage where they die before you like actually dig up the potatoes so i'm gonna go at least 90 days on those and i'll definitely fill them me um harvesting those potatoes then next we have another zinnia this is the one that i took from the raised bed and put in a grow bag it's doing very well beautiful they're just so pretty so so pretty then crammed in here next to it i have these are actually two money maker tomatoes that I just couldn't separate so I just planted them together they're my twins but they're um, this one's starting to blossom and I've been going through as well with these and cutting off the suckers we'll see I don't know how productive they'll be with um, two of them together in the same pot but we'll see there's another sucker And then next to that, I have my money maker tomato with the carrots planted in the bottom. The carrots are doing really well. I'm just having an issue when I water it. It kind of beats the leaves down and then or stalks, whatever you call it. And then they get all kind of tangled and I don't know if that's going to interfere with them growing. So I've been kind of going through and untangling it. I'm hoping once they get bigger, they will just kind of untangle themselves like how these tall ones are here and I have bended it looks like pretty crammed in there but I bended so everything is at least at least an inch and a half apart so, but I can always stand a little bit more and then here's the actual money maker have my first tomatoes on there as well. Then next to that, this is another San Marzano. And I'm just doing a little experiment between this one and the other one. I just I planted this um, a lot more recently than I did the bigger one I showed earlier. So this one I'm not going to prune at all. I did prune like some of the bottom leaves when I first planted it, but any suckers or anything that comes up, I'm not going to take them off. I just want to see if it really does make a difference. So, that is bad. It actually has like some blossom water. If I was pruning it, I would probably take those off um, just because it's so early in the plant stage. But I'm going to leave it science <laughs> and I'll definitely let you all know the results of that and then we have fungus mat party and my sunflowers they're doing really well and we have our first yellow so I'm excited and eagerly awaiting that to open up I'm wondering how tall it's going to get. Um, it seems like the main stalk kind of stopped here. That's probably about maybe a little over 
her foot. And then this one's still, which I think is like a branch, is still going. So we'll see. On the package it said they could get, on the seed package it said they could get up to six feet. But I'm not sure since I have it in a grow bag how big it'll get. But it's um, funny just to watch how they do they do turn to the sun. So once the sun comes in the morning, it's sort of straight up like it is now. And then the sun sets like over in this direction. So um, they curve towards that way in the evenings. It's pretty cool. But that is my update. I'm excited. Uh, everything is kind of doing well. Finally have like my first fruit. beautiful plants so thank you again for watching oh I skipped my beets <laughs> so these are my um, beets they are Ruby Queen and Detroit Red that I just kind of stuck down in here in between the zinnia and the tomatoes I'm not really sure how they're doing um, some of the leaves are dying off like this so I don't know that's normal or if that means they're not doing great um, they are various sizes although there are two different varieties in here so I'm not sure um, especially like this one like I think this would be the beat right here that's like come that's not in the soil so I'm gonna see maybe just toss a little more soil on top of that and see or I don't know maybe that's what it normally does I'm not sure also kind of this one's you see like that part's kind of sticking up I'm not sure if that's um what's supposed to happen or not but then this one is more kind of buried so I don't know it could be two I'm not sure which is which as far as the um, Detroit Red and Ruby Queen I don't know if that's how like one variety grows more above the soil and the other is under I don't know but <laughs> we'll see I will definitely keep you updated if you have any clues please let me know down in the comments I appreciate it but again thank you for watching my update and come back for more